Today is day eight of the fluconazole, I believe that's how it's pronounced, treatment for bryopsis. So I'm going to show you how well it did. And it did very, very well. Check this out. Top of the overflows. That's what's left of it. Can finally see Coraline again. It is almost completely gone. There's some up underneath here. There's a few locations. Some of the heavier locations still show white dead algae. It just hasn't been swallowed up yet. I only have a few items that are loving on it, that's for sure. Now, because of my overzealous self with the KNO3 and uh, trying to get some nitrates in here, I overdid it and the Undata over there is suffering a little bit. As is this acro but that's not what we're here for it's almost completely gone there's one little tuft of it right there Tiny little bit left here. Sorry, got a cold. This was the worst location in my tank. Of course, we have to have photobomber or two. This was completely covered. It's almost gone. It works very well. Nothing is adversely affected by it. This is my second worst location. Actually, it might be it might have been worse than the other spot. Only a couple of spots. This one was terrible. What is here is white. And nearly disintegrated. Oh, I broke this guy today. There's very little left. I would say we have some sort of a miracle here. It's all that's left there. And can we see that in here? Yeah, a little bit. I would say that this treatment is a win. Nothing was harmed by it unless it was bryopsis or green hair algae. Didn't even harm sponges. And for those of you that want proof, there is one right there. there oh and our clownfish eggs if I can get them also are not harmed by them
that's it. I'm pretty confident by the time the full 14 days comes about, there will be nothing left.